Hey there Cthulhu crew and welcome back to some more Unturned on the Gang Z server. Check this out you guys, I am using a brand new texture pack for Unturned called Rust and man does it look good. The crap is over there. Are you a critter? What are you? Okay, you're just a deer. Whew, but man, does this not look good, you guys? <laughs> wow! So, we're, we're starting a new unturned season for Gang Z, uh, and we have things switched up a little bit. We, we now only have two gangs, which is kind of strange. We've got LCM and OPB. And those of us that used to be Negan's slash Bacon Crew, we have been distributed amongst the two remaining gangs. So could take a little getting used to, but uh, we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. But yeah, this, man, this version of Unturned looks so much better than what I'm used to. It is pretty freaking awesome. Like, look, <laughs> dude, get some clothes on. Um, okay, so yeah, everything is just overhauled. It's like, it's basically a brand new game, which is really weird to me. So I'm right clicking, and it looks like that's putting stuff in my inventory. If I left click, okay, if I left click, then it gives me some more, some more options there. Phew! So, as part of this overhaul, I think I'm supposed to use this, yeah, there we go, I'm supposed to use this rock to bash stuff and I get things so I'm I'm punching trees and I'm getting wood I'm sure we're all familiar with that at this point right how much wood is this tree gonna give me I mean it's a big tree but golly can I knock it down if I if I break the bark in a circle around it is that going to knock the tree over does that actually does that tree damage persist because that's pretty cool also if you guys are completely unaware, I was kidding about the whole texture pack thing. This is actually a different game. <laughs> I, oh gosh! I really hope everybody realized what was going on there, but you never know. It is the internet after all. You can't be too careful. Uh, oh, shrooms. Hey, I'll take some shrooms. So, uh, yeah, this is Rust. This is a game that's been around for quite a while now, if I'm not mistaken. It's, it's one of those things that's, you know, I've heard the name numerous times. It's kind of been on my radar. I've just never bothered to really look into it or try it out or anything like that. So, I am 100% newbie fresh to this game which uh honestly excites me i haven't played or i haven't been able to record at least a new game for my channel in a very very long time so i am excited now for those of you who may be worried unturned is not going away from my channel i think gang z as a group is taking a break from unturned for a little bit to to goof around with rust some more but uh, I am definitely not done with Unturned. I'm absolutely going to keep up my single player series where I've been checking out custom maps. And I am going to be doing a bit of a mini series uh, with people on my Patreon server. Hey, it's Generic B! So Generic B is not in my group. Dude, can you seriously just loot people's corpses? <gasps> wow. Oh man, look at all this metal ore he has. Okay, that seems like that would be nice. I don't know if there's a limit to what I can take, like if we have rules set up or not. <laughs> but it's generic B, so I kind of want to screw him over as best I can, you know? Bone fragments. How much of this metal ore can I take? Oh gosh, that takes all of it? I don't know if I should take all of it. Is there a way to take not all of it? Splitting? Okay, so I do that, and then, then how do I actually take? Interesting. Interesting, okay. So we've got some some leather, some metal fragments. Man, this guy's been putting in some work. Propane. Ooh, paper map. Okay, I'm going to take that, and <laughs> I'm going to call it good at that. Thank you so much, Jenny. You're such a nice guy. <laughs> now, I have no idea where my new OPB group is supposed to be setting up or anything like that. I logged in today, 
I checked out the Discord chat and I saw that things were happening and that this was open and ready and available for people to play on. So gosh darn it, I hopped the heck on here. And we'll see we'll see where things end up for me. Ah! Oh, I'm bleeding. Well, I got cloth though. I wanted to get close enough to smack it. There we go. Cactus flesh. Cactus flesh. Cloth. I've looked at one really, really quick beginner's guide kind of thing on Steam that someone put together. So I have an idea of the absolute basics that I need to care about. Uh, do I see some movement? Oh gosh. So I know that I can hit tab to get to inventory. I can go to crafting. I want to get arrows and a bow right off the bat, right? What do I need for a bow? So I need wood and cloth. And I have those things. Right? I have... Oh, no, I need... Oh, man, I need a butt-ton more cloth. Total have. Okay. Wow. And then I need stones. How do I get stones? <laughs> I have this rock on me. Well, I guess I'm going to keep bopping on this cactus, I guess? I'm pretty hurt. So I can see in my lower right-hand corner there... I'm going to kind of walk through things with you as I'm walking through them, just in case you guys are also unfamiliar with the game. Lower right-hand corner, looks like you got your health, you got your water, and you got your food. And I don't love where those are currently. <laughs> I would like to increase those. I've heard that there's some kind of weed plant. No, not that kind. <laughs> the, the guide I was looking at referred to it as a weed plant. Um, that you're supposed to be able to get cloth from. These plants don't seem to have any, like, interaction capabilities quite yet. So I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to get the majority of my cloth. But uh, once we can craft the bow and arrow, then we can use the campfire that uh, Generic Bee so lovingly provided to us. And we can kill some animals and we can cook up some animal meaty bits. Yum yum, take that pita. How do I get the this rock chunks though, the stone? Cause like I've bashed on rocks before and I'm not getting any little notification that I'm actually collecting any rocks. So that remains a mystery to me. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up dying like from the get go. Oh, control, interesting, control is crouch, okay. I'm probably gonna die from the get go and lose all the nice stuff that Generic B gave to me <laughs> and be completely lost. But this is a learning experience. I'm figuring things out as I go here, or or maybe not figuring out as the case may be. Yeah, none of you guys want to give me any, uh, any cloths. Oh man, and this rock that I'm using has durability I'm noticing in my hotbar there. So I might need to be a little bit worried about that. Oh hey, hemp. Crap, I was just running around mashing my E button, so I didn't even really pay attention to what kind of plant that was that uh, hemped me. Is it that thing? Because it gave me hemp seed. Yeah! And a bunch of cloth. Hot diggity dang! Okay, alright, so this is what we want. This is a good, thing to, a good thing to have, a good place to be. And I'm guessing that by sprinting I'm gonna run through my food faster. Gosh, that's dropping fast. Oh, I don't like how that's going at all. All right, we're pretty well hemped up. And I don't know environment-wise if there's much I have to be afraid of. I don't think there's any zombies. Oh, oh, open. Uh, oh, interesting, there's a quick craft. What's this? Road signs made of metal. Sure, <laughs> we'll take it. It doesn't seem like you have any weight limitations, probably just inventory space is all, so that's kind of nice. Hey, we can craft up a hunting bow, right? Did I craft you? It went away from my options. Let me hit tab again. Go to crafting. Okay, that's in queue. Okay, so I couldn't see that from the quick crafting. Nice. Now, can we make some wooden arrows? No, I need stones. I need to figure out how to get stones. I need to get weeds and get stoned. I mean stones. Are you stones? Can I, like, E? Oh, wait, what was that? Metal ore? Oh, I'm starving. I'm starving. You see that over my, my health bar there? I am officially 
starving. Wonderful. <laughs> Just wonderful. I'm finally figuring stuff out. I even have a bow, and I am starving. Can I just E these smaller rocks? Now the pr next problem is, even if I do manage to get a uh, an arrow or two crafted up, um, I have not seen an animal since the very first couple seconds, so I don't even know what I would go and hunt. Are there no plants that one can eat? Oh hey, maybe this place has something. Maybe I can loot something here and stave off the starvation for a little bit. I think I do have an apple on me too, right? <gasps> yes! Give me what I so desire! Okay, so let's eat the apple. That Oh man, that did us pretty good. A mushroom found on the ground, eating it provides a small boost to health, hunger, and thirst. Am I gonna have drugs? That seemed to be good all around. I'm okay with this. Alright! I'm okay with this. And what do we have here? Okay, those are my hemp seeds. Let's get the bow over here. How do I how do I bow things? Okay, I right click and it seemed like it loaded the bow. Oh, hey, is that a cave over there? And if I hold down right click, oh, this is another one of those stupid games where you don't have a targeting reticle. Gosh, darn it, who wants that? Who wants that in their life? Gah, come on. Come on, game. <laughs> Dang it. Oh my, what have we here? Okay, so I can right-click to, to light my torch here. Are there going to be horrible things down here? Am I going to have a bad time? What's this? A candle hat? A candle hat? And some fuel. What? So how do I... How do I do? Oh, I think I just dropped that. I want to wear a candle hat! <laughs> um, okay, so this is more than likely out of my league. Yeah, this is going to be out of the, out of my league. Way, way out. Are you going to give me ore? You look like a special rock. Show enough! Give me that ore. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's GTFO. I don't think poor little baby CT is ready for whatever's going on in there. So let's just not. Um, so at this point, I would really like to find a nice, tame, quiet, maybe even like broken-legged animal that I might fill with arrows. All right, so let's check out the map. I'm right-clicking and I'm left-clicking, and the map isn't doing. How do, map? How do? Helps you figure out where you are. You can annotate the map by right-clicking and drawing on it. You lie to me, game. You lie. Okay, we'll figure that out later. Uh, Torch, I don't think you need to be on my number two slot. We're going to switch things up like that. Alrighty, so let's continue the hunt here. Slowly but surely, I'm familiarizing myself with the control scheme of this brand new game. And I think... For the most part, I like it so far. You know, the, the control scheme itself. The game seems pretty great so far. It looks great. Feels fine. Um, I think I think we're going to have a good time with this game, you guys. It's so far... Oh, my. Is that a, like, Crash Death Star over there? What the heck? So far, it feels very much like an Ark-style game. Ark Survival Evolved. In a... In a good way. I've heard that the crafting is similar as, or not the crafting, the building is similar as well. And also kind of similar to uh, uh, to Unturned, where you can like craft components and place them down, and you don't have to go piece by piece like you would in a Minecraft, which I am very, very grateful for. And I'm pretty sure the OPB group already has some kind of base set up somewhere, but I just don't know where. Um, because I haven't double-checked. Yeah, right-click and left-click ain't doing jack. I can jump. I can't believe I just now tried to jump. Like, I've, I've been playing this whole time and I haven't jumped yet. Good job, CT. Good job. But yeah, there are just no animals about. I guess I should keep my eyes open for more, uh, more shrooms. I assumed that those were going to give me a bad time, but it seems like they didn't. Unless I'm slowly building up a dependency, a chemical dependency on these shrooms. Uh, anything good roundabouts here? So from what I gather, 
This map is massive. From what I gather, I don't know how true that is or not, From but from what little I've heard and seen, it sounds like Rust maps are gigantor. So it's probably kind of random that I even stumbled across Sleeping Jenny. Probably should have done something more to him than just take his stuff, now that I think about it. Dang, opportunity missed. You don't often get time alone with a sleeping hermit, you know? <sighs> live and learn, I guess. Live and learn. Oh, shrooms, shrooms, shrooms. Give me them shrooms. So I don't know if there are skills or anything like that. If there's an XP component. I kind of get the feeling there is not. Um, and I should have mentioned this at the very beginning, but if any of you guys watching are Rust experts, by all means, leave some comments and tips and helpful stuffs in the comment section below. If you just want to rage at me and call me a noob, that's kind of par for the course. You do you, whatever. But if you want to be helpful, then by all means, be helpful. Oh man, I'm getting a wet indicator. Oh gosh, okay, I don't want to be wet. No, dry me off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Too cold. Oh, I'm going to get soaked. Ooh, okay. I just barely made it across that ford. Okay, my wetness is dropping. All righty. Hey, you're a new plant. What are you? Do you have things for me? <gasps> it's Kron. Mmm, give me some of that. Oh, man. I think I need to change the settings on my water graphics. <laughs> That's a little weird looking. Okay, we got corns. Beautiful. I did not realize that was a thing in this game. Oh, pumpkins! We got pumpkins too! Awesome! The great pumpkin. Okay, and there's more plants over here. Yeah, I'm, I like this early stage of a game. Just kind of wander around, collect your basic stuffs. It's, it's kind of fun, especially when you're learning a game for the first time. Um, I don't know, there's like a... There's a certain magic to it. Anything could happen. You you are a, a clean slate, ready to be scribbled all over. <laughs> um, and this is, I don't know, I enjoy it. I enjoy it quite a bit. So, I'm about to start starving again, but I do have... Oh man, I do have some food bits on me that I can consume. You look interesting. Oh! Oh man, I can just yank a stump out of the ground and get some wood! That's impressive! Okay, so I want to check out the Death Star, but there's also this nice little hovel over here that I think I should also check out. Okay, I can just pick up metal ore. I still have not figured out how to get stones, though. Like, thank goodness I managed to pick up some arrows just from a loot crate. Because um, I, I don't know, I've tried bashing rocks with my rock, and that doesn't seem to give me what I want. So that will, that will require a little more science. Uh, okay, loot. Give me... Oh my, what do we have here? A mace! I'm Mace Windu! Amazing! Its unique design makes it easier to hit your target when compared to other more traditional weapons. I, I need stuff that's easy to use. That's great. That's perfect for me. <gasps> Dude, cool. And I've noticed all of these cans, these gas cans, have little meters above them so I guess I'm guessing that's like refueling points because I, I noticed Jenny had some fuel on him and I've picked up some fuel jars as well some low-grade fuel so that's pretty cool let's go ahead and eat some corn hey that does us pretty good oh and now we're healing too our health bumped up or was ticking up for a little while cool all right so let's see what's in this house I don't know if this is like a player house 87% stable. Oh man, if I'm going to start building, do I have to worry about stability? Oh man, I don't know if this is somebody's house or not. I was just curious to see what would happen if I bashed it. And it did hurt that wall quite a bit. Okay, I was hoping to get some loot out of that house, but... <sighs> beggars can't be choosers, I guess. I would really love to find another deer one of these days. This place is definitely not crawling with with livestock. I'll say that much. It's not overpopulated with animals. I wonder if everyone's been depopulating it already, if this is like some freaking eco game or something like that where you can just kill off an entire animal population. Okay, there's the Death Star. We're almost there. 
Let's get up a little higher and get a lay of the land. So far, I'm liking the fact that it, it feels kind of like pick up and play with a little bit of the stats and need for foraging and stuff like that. Like, it's not overdone. Oh, are you water? No. There's just enough stuff to keep you interested, or keep you on your toes. A somewhat broken CCTV camera, unusable in its current form. Interesting. I have no clue what I'll ever do with that, but I'm taking it because it's there. Yeah, it seems like the survival aspect isn't too difficult for starting off, which is nice. Um, foraging is fairly easy so far. Maybe I've just been lucky, but... I remember like when I first started playing Ark, it just felt absolutely brutal because you take one step in one direction and there's a jillion dinosaurs that wanted to rip your face off. Like so far, as long as there aren't a ton of people playing... Oh, oh, oh gosh, radiation poisoning. Oh gosh. Oh, that's dropping my health. Hey, hey, am I in some kind of radioactive zone? Like, the poisoning is dropping. I know I have some pills on me, but I don't know if I have to take those yet or not. Is that whole area radioactive? Because I wanted to check that out, man. It's a good thing the game was giving me that audio cue. Like, hey, something bad is happening to you, because I would not have noticed otherwise. I just did not see the radiation stuff pop up in the bottom right there. Well, dang, I want to check this place out. Is it all going to be radioactive? Oh man, that's really dropping my health. What the heck? I don't know if it was just like that little power area I was checking out was radioactive or what. Let's take a little step over here and I'm going to keep an eye on my bottom right and see if more radioactiveness pops up. So far, so good. I just realized like my screen is dirty. Is that because I dropped my health so low? Let's go ahead and eat another corn that might uh, heal us up a little bit. Oh, interesting, and that gave me corn seeds by eating that. That's kind of cool. Oh, dude, look at this place. Wow, this is like some kind of something you'd see in like backwoods Russia or something like that. Some abandoned Soviet facility where they were doing like freaky nuclear testing or something like that. This is pretty slick. I like this. All right, let's go check this the crap out. So I'm not getting radioactive here. Oh. Was that just me stomping around? I have so many questions. <laughs> There's so much unknown to me here. Oh, can I can I go through this trash can? <laughs> oh man, get so wrecked. Give me those metal fragments. I wonder what would happen if I smack one of these canisters. Probably nothing good. <laughs> Probably nothing good. Huh. Is it somehow possible to get up there? Man, oh man, I have so many questions. There's so much new stuff here. This is so cool. <laughs> I'm enjoying this quite a bit so far, even though I'm not really doing much. Just the, the checking out of new things. Oh, hello? is really cool. Oh, is this a little shack? Hey shack, open up. You got stuff for me? More options are available, hold down use. Turn on or open. Let's open it. It's a refinery. Oh, <gasps> wait a second. So if I put ore in there, furnace is off, turn to switch it on, make sure it has fuel and press the button to the left. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to do this. That's kind of nice. And then can I right click? No, I have to like click and drag. Let's turn on. Is that going to start refining? That's just sulfur though, isn't it? I probably don't want sulfur. Let's put some metal ore in there and see what happens. I don't think you can refine sulfur. <laughs> I could be wrong. I don't know. Oh, look at this. Jack-o'-lanterns I can quick craft. A lock. Oh, hey, I can make uh, clothing. I should make a bandage for sure. A burlap shirt. A head wrap. Man, I'd look like a freaking mummy. Skirt. <laughs> Baseball. Hide halter neck. Whatever the heck that is. 
Okay, nothing seems to be doing here, so clearly I don't understand what all is involved. But that's fine. We did science. We failed, but we did science. I really need to figure out how to get stinking stones. Hey! I picked up stones! <laughs> Ask and ye shall receive! Now I'm guessing because like water was a status effect and stuff like that, I'm guessing cold will be a status effect as well. So I don't think I'm going to want to go up there quite yet. Oh, there's some kind of big tr crash truck over here. Are you stones? Are you metal ore? You're wood. There's something over here. I like how there's all these little junk piles. Oh man, there's all kinds of stuff. All these little junk piles that you can come and loot. That's really nice. That's one thing that I miss in uh, Unturned. Like, yeah, you can find spawned in loot, but being able to actually like loot um, a crate or a chest or something like that, I find that enjoyable. Oh, look at this! <gasps> a hazmat suit! I can't take it. Okay, that's stored that. I need to find out how to equip my clothing. Like, what's all this stuff? Okay, I have these... Did I just drop something? I saw something like out of the corner of my eye go flying, I thought. I didn't click anything, I didn't think. Okay, so that puts that on. Let's uh let's get covered up. Put a skirt on. Why am I still <laughs> Why am I still pixelated? Oh, I wonder like did I craft something and there wasn't any room for it, so it chucked it out of my inventory? But I don't see anything in the ground. But yeah, I did have a couple crafting things queued, and I think I'm missing something. Can I put this hat on? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is that? Alright. You do you, game. You do you. Uh, oh, contains water. Let's eat some cactus flesh. Mm, did that hurt me? No, no, it, it bumped me up a little bit. Uh, okay, so I have some stones now, right? So let's craft... I can craft up some arrows. Amazing. So let's go up to that many. And yeah, so that'll sit there and that'll craft away. Oh yeah, and then I need to get the hazmat suit. So I wonder if that's all I need and I could go back in there where it's radioactive and... Life would be good. What was that sound? Oh gosh. Things just got creepy. Are you anything I care about? You don't seem to be. We got tires, we got barrels. I want to smack a barrel so badly, but I can almost guarantee you I would have a bad time. Like, that just feels like something that would not go well for you. Because <laughs> everybody knows barrels in video games are explosive. Always, forever, all the time. See, all of this stuff looks like it's meant to be parkoured. Kind of like the Scorpion 7 headquarters in the, the map I'm playing, the Unturned map, Isle of Wolves 3. Like, there's probably cool stuff up top. Alright, what do we got going on around hereabouts? Oh, actually, hold on, can I just put this thing on? That de-equipped all my other stuff. Oh, but look at that, it gives me, like, resistances and whatnot. So there's all kind of stats I need to think about. Well, heck, let's go ahead and wear this, it's kind of cool looking. Okay, you are not a door I can interact with. Any any good stuffs around? You can't run if you're going any direction other than straight forward. That's a little annoying. I'm a little unhappy about that, but whatevs. Beggars can't be choosers. Alright, let's go check out that... Yeah, as soon as you do a little turn, you stop sprinting. Let's go check out this ruined truck we saw somewhere over here. And I would really love to see an animal and try out my my shoots, my shooting skills, or lack thereof. But uh, I guess you don't always get what you want, right? Give me those hemp's. So there must be some kind of uh, planting capability as well, because I've been getting seeds from a lot of this stuff. So eventually we'll find out about that, I suppose. Oh. <gasps> Hey, piggy, 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 piggy. Let's get up on this truck before we mess around with a boar. I assume that's a boar. Now, how far are these arrows going to travel? Okay, that traveled pretty dang good. Okay, maybe I do need to get up close to it. What's this? 
Salvaged Axe. High yield. Oh, hey, yeah, I like the sound of that. All right, this guy is probably going to gore me. Right? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. He's probably going to gore me to death. <laughs> but I do have a mace as well. Here, bory, bory, bory. Oh, get so shot in the butt! <laughs> okay, so do I E? No. Do I smack you? Oh, I got animal fat. Do I smack you with other things? I got cloth. I wonder... Hold on. Let's use this brand new shiny axe we've got. Oh, dude, that thing looks amazing! <gasps> High yield, my butt! It ain't giving me crap! Does it, like, matter where I hit it? Because I'm only getting fat from this thing. I want more than fat. Oh, there's raw pork on the ground. Okay, let's drop... Drop you. I'm going to drop these signs. I'm going to drop the clothing, too, because I don't know what I'm doing doing. I wish you could see what's on the ground next to you like you can in uh, an unturned. That's a feature I like quite a bit. Let's go ahead and eat the pumpkin. Oh, now I've covered everything up. Gosh darn it. Bone fragments, raw pork. Yeah. And the hunting bow. Okay. Alrighty. Hey, we're in business now. We got bacon! Got all that metal ore, my goodness. Where's the... Is this the pork? Those are corn seeds. <laughs> Where's my pork? Oh, that's the pork. Oh, man! We got ribs! I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. Well, how, how does the rest of that go? Is it chilies? Yeah. Chilies, baby back ribs. Barbecue sauce. Y'all, y'all get that that uh, advertisement reference? Was that uh, In Sync or Backstreet Boys that were part of that ad back in the day for Chili's? I, man, <laughs> it's been a while. I don't know why that's still in my brain, to be quite honest. Um, I guess things seem to be safe enough. Let's go ahead and try out. Oh, try out cooking. Why you no know place though? Usually. Red is saying, you know place here. Why, why you know place here? Can you please place here? I would like to cook with you. Oh, oh, okay. It likes that. It likes that. Um, so open. Okay, so let's open it. Oh, it comes preloaded? Oh, oh I guess I, because I stole it. I didn't craft it fresh. <laughs> that could be why. So let's pop our ribs in there. Our chilies, baby back ribs. Oh, my comfort is going up. And that's healing me. Interesting. I'm getting charcoal. And this has a little symbol above it. Does that mean it is currently cooking? Quick craft low-grade fuel. Wait, how did I craft that? How, how, what? How did I craft fuel? What does it take? Oh, animal fat and cloth. Cool! Is there a way I can toggle to like only show me things I can currently craft? Oh man, hey, there's building stuff. Boda bag? Carry water. Left click. Oh, I should probably have one of those. Let's craft one of those guys up. Storage box. Small stash. Vending machine? What? That's cray cray. Paper. Look at that, man. I could be really freaking creepy if I wanted to. Bandana mask. Oh, tools. Oh, what's this? A hammer. Okay, for building. Oh, a pickaxe would be nice. Wait. I can craft that, right? Total. Oh, no, it needs. Oh, man. Why does it need so many stones? What? Medical syringe, <gasps> a bone knife, a bone club, all around basic gathering tool. I like the sound of that. It takes bone fragments. Let's try that out. Man, there's so much stuff. Traps. And I can make a guitar. <laughs> okay, let's open this thing. Oh, yeah, sure enough. Look at that. Oh, no, I overcooked stuff. Oh, no. 
burned pork! This little piggy has been in the oven too long. What happens if I eat it? I think it still helped me a little bit. Oh, I'm so sorry. I burned you. And now I have charcoal. I wonder if that's good for anything. Man, oh man, alive. There's so much stuff going on here. And I am completely out of inventory space now. Oh, gosh. Got hemp seeds. I don't care too much about hemp seeds just yet. So let's get rid of those. Um, Let's eat another pumpkin. So I've got three tasty pieces of bacon here with bones sticking out of them. I don't see anything like it's gonna spoil over time, so that could be kind of nice. Man, oh man, there's so much stuff. Now how do I... can I pick you back up? Hold down use, light, or open. Do I smack you? <laughs> I, I want you back. I want you back, baby. That didn't do it. <laughs> Are those one-time use? Because I definitely was not seeing... Oh, was not seeing a good way to pick that back up. Are you a... a wolfie? Or are you a pig? You're another pig. Let's go, let's go pig this guy up a little bit. I needed to, I need to brush up on my skills here. Because I have bills to pay. Where'd you go, piggy? You ain't getting away from me that easy, boyo. Come back here, Pumbaa. Right, it's Pumbaa, right? It's, yeah, yeah, it's Pumbaa. It's not Timon. Okay, he seems to be pretty chill about getting arrowed. Yeah, that didn't seem to bug him one little bit. Oh, hey. I can take my arrow back, too. Where's my other arrow? I like the idea of getting your ammo back. Maybe it's not a 100% drop rate or something like that. Well, hey, hey. Okay, get me some cloth. Get me some of that raw pork. Oh, that gave me a lot of raw pork. Fragments, more leather. Oh, man, this guy is paying out. Uh-oh, we got flies. Gross. Those guys didn't waste any time showing up to the party. Oh, Piggy. Piggy Lumpkin, you're my favorite. You gave me so much good stuff. Oh, guys, we are in business now. Things are looking up. I mean, the second I run into another player like freaking Chirpa, I'm dead. <laughs> but as far as man versus wild goes, I'm feeling okay. I, I can't complain with how things are going right now. A spring. A sprang. I'm going to take it. I have no use for it. But it's an item. Therefore, I must have it. We've got freaking power lines here. Holy cow. How much tech is in this world? I just... I have no clue. Wowee! What do we have here? A power box. Can I interact with you? Meh. So, if I follow... Oh, hey, there's another piggy. If I follow this, am I gonna end up somewhere cool? It says stop. <laughs> Having a sign for a stoplight doesn't actually work as a stoplight, FYI. <laughs> Not quite cutting it. Yeah, right now, like, my my survival stats are doing just fine. Things are looking A-OK. -okay. I'm feeling pretty good. I've got this uh, water dealy jobber. Oh, that, that's got radioactive stuff. I've seen barrels around that look like water barrels, so I'm wondering if I can fill up. Oh, hey. Hey, horse face. You're a horse, right? You're acting a little odd. Yeah, you a horse, all right. Hey, it's time for a little bit of horse meat action. Here, horsey, horsey, horsey. Get shot in the butt, horsey, horsey. Wow, two arrows downs a horse. Hey. So those of you who are riding enthusiasts, I recommend that if you haven't looked away already, hey, footprints. If you haven't looked away already, you should probably do so now. <laughs> I have, uh, Aunts and uncles and cousins that are very much horse lovers, and I doubt they would approve of what's transpiring right now. <laughs> Please forgive me, you guys. But hey, meat is meat, right? Whack. Whack. Now my next question is, can I repair items that I'm using, like this mace? I'm really liking this mace right about now, but it is slowly degrading over time. Can I fix that? 
I have no clue. Uh, there is an actions list, but I haven't seen anything so far about repairing. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's you, you use it, you use it until you use it up. I guess use it or lose it. I don't know. Man, where is all this stuff leading me? There's definitely we're definitely getting into more of a a deserty kind of area. I guess we've been in it for a little while now. Let's go check this place out. There's some is it some kind of refinery? Just industrial zone in general. Oh, we've got some more water to cross too. Oh hey, here's a little uh chance for some science. Is this fresh water? What the <laughs> what the heck kind of water is this? It goes down and then it raises itself up again. I don't think that that's science. I could be wrong. That got me super wet. Can I not fill this? If I right click, it's doing something. Oh gosh, that's getting me super wet. But then I'm left clicking and stuff and it's not actually giving me drank. I don't know. Let's uh, let's go up and around. Oh, are you, what are you going on with? Are you something special or are you just weird looking? Huh, you're just weird looking. Let's go up and around. It seemed like I was getting wetted up really fast, so I would prefer to keep my little tootsies dry, you know? But let's go see what's going on over here. Um, if I can get up and over. But yeah, thankfully you don't have like some stupid stamina bar. It does seem like running makes you get uh, hungry faster, but that's that's to be expected. I feel the same way IRL. Okay, we've got this little power plant over here. This is the kind of thing that was giving me radiation issues before. Now that I've got my suit on, is it going to be the same way? So far, so good. So I'm either immune or it's just not an issue. Semi-automatic body, the fire... <gasps> Can you make guns? In this game? Oh, that was a deer? I got deer meat? That was clearly a horse. Thank you very much. But anyway, back to the current item at hand. Can you make guns in this game? Is that a thing? Oh man, this pork does not give you a whole lot of foodstuffs. If you can make guns, that is incredible to me. Seriously, though. Okay, you sound buzzy. Let's leave. Man, look at me. I'm maxed out on, on health now. My water's decent and my food is pretty dang good. Life is good. So I noticed when I was killing that horse slash deer, it looks like you leave footprints behind. So that's kind of cool. So I'm guessing, I'm assuming that you can use that to hunt down other players. Like, it probably leaves their trail behind for a little while so you can hunt them down. So, Chirp is going to find me that much easier. <laughs> no, that's cool, though. I like that a lot. I'm sure I'll hate it as soon as someone finds me and kills me using that, but... It's a nifty mechanic, regardless. Okay, you know what? I think I'm kind of graduated up from this rock for now. Let's move that over here. Let's get our mace window out a little bit. Okay, so I'm not I'm not radiating. Things seem friendly so far. I'm still expecting zombies, but I'm pretty sure people were saying there's no zombies in this game. But I'm just I'm so used to playing zombie games, you know? So I also need to look into if there's any lore for rust. Like why why is everything abandoned and dilapidated? Where is everybody? Did something bad happen? Did I miss out on the rapture or something like that? Cause that would suck. That would suck real hard. I'd prefer that wasn't the case. Um, but yeah, what's going on? Oh man, this is not OSHA approved. Ah! Dang it. Well, we're done exploring that building. <laughs> and I think night is gonna fall before long. And if so, that's the first time I've had nighttime so far since goofing around here. So apparently the day-night cycle is pretty long. Which makes me wonder how long night is going to last. And I guess we'll find out if anything bad happens at night. Like it does in so many survival type games. 
Maybe zombies and skeletons will start coming out of the cave systems. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, hey. Can I interact with the ladder somehow? Okay, I guess I'm on the ladder. Man, this is a slow ladder. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness gracious me. Oh, gosh. Do I want to be in sewers? I don't know that I do. I mean, I kind of do. Is this going to be the worst possible decision I could ever make in my life? I mean, I figure I might as well be down here because it's going to be night upstairs. Oh, hey. Oh, you're just taking me back out to the surface? That's not nearly as interesting as I was expecting. I mean, I've got my goofy candle hat, right? <laughs> so I won't be stuck down here without light, as presumably. Um, okay, so that goes back out to the surface. Well, there there looked to be that second tunnel over to the left here, and it seemed like it went down. Yeah. Let's check this out. I don't know. You never know till you try, right? You never know till you try. You can't make horrible decisions and not learn something, right? Okay, never mind. That was that was all a tease. Oh, it's dark though. It's way dark. Let's get up out of here. I can't even see. Hold on. I can't even see if there's a way out of where I am. Okay. Man, I don't know if it's foggy or something, but field of vision just drops. Whoo wee. Okay, we up again. Maybe I should figure out my candle hat. Um, you can turn the candle on in your inventory. Oh, but that takes my clothing off. Uh-oh. Hmm. Hmm. Let's put the clothing on, I suppose. Can I make more torches? Like, what does it take to make more torch? Oh, I can make more torch. Uh, wood, cloth, and fuel. Okay, let's make two more torches. Bingo. Bingo, bango, wango, tango. And this might also just be a good place to leave things off as well. This is probably going to be a bit longer of an episode than I would normally do, just because... Oh, A large med kit. Just because there's so much going on, there's so much to check out. Um, that I fi oh, that I figure I should keep you guys along with me for a while. Hey, there's cooler cars here too. A fuzz car, fuzzmobile. Man, there's so much stuff. Well, yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll end things here for now. We've done quite a bit of exploring, quite a bit of sciencing and learning as well. Like for for one thing, we know that. Uh, that your body just stays where you left it, just like an arc. I kind of want to go up to that tower to sign off, but then if anyone else is in the area, they're probably fairly likely to want to check out a tower as well. Same thing with a building and whatnot. Like, I feel like just logging off in the middle of nowhere is probably your safer bet. So maybe I'll do a little something like that. We'll just go over here. But thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed a brand new Derps look <laughs> at Rust. I hope you guys are excited for some Gang Z action here in Rust. Um, and again, if you have pointers, noob tips, things like that to help... I just put that out with my hand. <laughs> if you have things that help me get going in this game, then by all means, let me know in the comments. But I will see you guys again next time for some more... Gang Z Rust? Ru Rust Z? Oh, I'm I'm cold. I wonder if I I wonder if I log out if I'll be okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.